Good morning, take two. I'm here finally. How is everyone today? It's been so long since I've done a, a Facebook Live and I thought oh, I'll be a bit clever, a bit different today and just go live from my uh, uh, laptop. And of course, it took me forever to just log on to Facebook and then um, I finally got everything set up to go live and then it just went pfft, something wrong with the camera blah 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 so I just had to rush around and get my phone set up to go live in the group so I'm just going to check that I am live in the group because if uh, what I've been through already in the last five minutes is any indication I could be anywhere on Facebook so <laughs> Let's just um, check it out that I am live in the group. Hope you're having a better Monday morning than what I am. Just a slight little hiccup. Yes, I'm here. How is everyone? Hi, Erin. How are you? Good to see you. It's um, a lovely day here in Brisbane. Not really warm, but warm enough to wear a summary summary dress i suppose um i hope you're all uh ready for a quick facebook live on how to save some money on groceries this coming festive season hi janelle how are you good to see you here i know well oh, before i start just for those who don't know me i'm ann murphy from domesplicity.com and i help people um to create a place called home home stands for homemaking organizing making do education and I like to help people save money on groceries because I think that's one of the biggest things um, in your home spending where you can cut back and that's why I created this group to help uh, share with you how I do it and hopefully get you saving money on groceries as well so I just wanted to talk about this time of year and what prompted me to uh, create this Facebook Live today is because I go through the same thing every year. And although my children are teenagers now and the birthday parties aren't such a big deal, you know, they're happy with a packet of corn chips and and a, a trip to the movies with their girlfriends or boyfriends or mates or whatever. It just, this time of year can be such an expensive time of year for me. Um, as far as groceries spends go so I've got um, well Halloween isn't such a big deal in our household either but the 31st of October is Halloween one birthday in the beginning of November another one at the end and that coincides with end of school so there's always an end of school breakup party here and there and like I said with teenagers it sort of starts to die down but when they were small you know you always had to take a plate of something for this school party for that dance group breakup for um, an afternoon tea with you know the kids and their mums or a morning tea with the mums uh, then you had um, Thanksgiving if you're in America uh, you've also got the start of um, December and December celebrations there's always parties and get-togethers and you know Christmas breakups church breakups wh whatever you're into and they always Need, you always need to take something or put some food on and then there's christmas day boxing day new year's eve parties and it can just get totally out of hand you can be going down to the supermarket every you know every other day and spending 50 dollars on all these things so that's why i thought with a little bit of preparation um it doesn't have to be such a big blowout and the number one thing that i want to tell you today is when I was growing up, and even even still, any food that I prepared for a party was just food. It doesn't have to be Halloween themed. It doesn't have to be Christmas themed. It doesn't have to look like a Christmas tree. I don't know how this happened, but somewhere along the line from when my children were small to now, it became such a big deal that everyone has to have these elaborately decorated cupcakes and Christmas themed things you've got to go out and buy all these different things for and that's okay if you want to do it yeah sure I've done it too 
but to make things easier for yourself it's just food you're just preparing food you're feeding people the whole idea is of bringing people together and and just having something to eat and it's more about the company rather than you know going to all that trouble you know you, why do we put so much pressure on ourselves to do these things so that's the number one thing I'm going to be giving you some ideas um, today that if you do want if that's your thing and you do like decorating I, I like you know doing a little bit of decorating um, for Christmas or you know making something look a little bit Christmassy but you, there really is no rules there's no strict regulations that it has to be a plate of Vegemite sandwiches kids are happy with the same as they would be some elaborately decorated cupcake that looks like a witch's hat or a Christmas tree that's taking you two hours to decorate so please remember that when you're thinking about food to prepare for these special events don't go to too much trouble if you haven't got the time so I just wanted to start with Halloween and Halloween it's one of those things that's not really celebrated in Australia but it's so hard not to get caught up in it I never did anything for Halloween growing up um, as a child but I think when my kids became school age there was a Halloween disco at school there was you know they wanted to get dressed up in a little costume and and go for a walk to get some some treats and it's you know you just can't escape it it's in every cartoon it's on every tv show so um they're so easily influenced so if you're going to send your children out to um go trick or treating it's only um makes sense that you should have a few treats in your house as well so i would start to look at those um mini chocolate bar share bags now that they might be um a two for one deal the home brand uh, mini chocolate uh, snacks are always on special for about two dollars fifty two dollars eighty each week just put one aside I know it's harder I'd be tempted to eat them too but sometimes if you get one of those big um, plastic boxes to put all these types of extra foods in um, and put them out of reach out of way people won't know that they that, that they're there <coughs> It's going to be easier for you to just grab them when the time comes so there's um, those types of little um, chocolates there's usually always Halloween themed candy or sweets when the time comes um, you know they've usually got little um, seal packets of lollies um, or candy you, know, you can just grab one um, at a time if you want to go that down that track or even the home brand sweets put into little bags make good little um, treats for people um, when they come knocking on your door one thing I saw <clears throat> that was really quite um, good to do and frugal is I think you can get them from the two dollar shops is the um, plastic clear plastic disposable gloves even though I'm a little bit um, against using plastic but I think those sorts of things would come in handy if you're doing cleaning or whatever but you know keep them for um, new for this purpose but you can make up a, a whole big batch of popcorn you know popcorn's really cheap when you buy the popping um, kernels and you can get one of these gloves and f fill it with popcorn and tie it off and it just looks like someone's scaly hand you know like a halloween themed hand and that's really cheap to do and you can put them in a big basket and give them out to the kids you can flavor it if you like or keep it plain but all kids love popcorn um the sour worm lollies um you know b before i start with decorating cupcakes um i always like to have a couple of packets of the home brand vanilla cake mix in the pantry because everyone loves a cupcake and whether they're plain plainly decorated or um you know you put some extra lollies on them you know you can always please somebody with a plain old cupcake so make sure you've got a couple of those um home brand cake mixes in the pantry or just have your basic pantry stamp staples on hand like your flour butter sugar milk and eggs and you can always whip up a packet of um, cupcakes cocoa if you want to make them chocolate you can get um, chocolate cookies and make a crumb so that it looks like dirt so that you could kind of make like um, graveyard um, cupcakes or even little um, chocolate mousse cups and put some uh, chocolate crumbs on there and then get those sour worm lollies 
and put them in like they're worms coming out of um, out of the ground or make little headstones out of royal icing or whatever so whatever sort of cupcakes or decorations you like to do you know check out Pinterest check out Google if if you know that you've got something that you you normally go to a Halloween party or you have some friends over while the kids go trick-or-treating make some um, cupcakes so you've got those things on hand by by the um, sprinkles the icing the icing sugar whatever you need to do the decorating don't buy it all at once just buy it um, you know when you go once a week to the grocery store um, food colorings food flavorings any you know oranges greens blacks whatever whatever you need for um, decorating chocolate you know chocolate for melting marshmallows are a great way to make some snacks for the kids as well I always like to have marshmallows in the house for baking they're good for LCM bars they're good just to put on a skewer you know make sure you've got skewers in your um, on your grocery list not the real big ones but ones that go are about that size and you just Put a marshmallow on the end and you can just decorate it the white ones look to make look like um, ghosts or um, cover it in green flavored a green colored white chocolate for a Frankenstein or you know all these ideas are on the internet I even found a great image for um, strawberries you know you can decorate dip them in chocolate and decorate them for Halloween that way um, with strawberries dipping them in chocolate so um, the other thing is if that's not your scene fruit plain fruit and vegetables a plain fruit platter you know you can put um, cut up chop up bananas to look like ghosts with little black dots for black icing dots for eyes even just a plain fruit platter you know like I said it doesn't have to be decorated veggie platters with a dip uh, just make sure that you've got things that you can make with your dip all your things like cream cheese sour cream they can all be kept in the freezer and taken out in the morning um, on the day that you need them and you know it's not going to be you're not going to have to make a special trip just start thinking about some events that might be coming up or even just have them in there for weekend snacks you know your cream cheese tipped upside down with some sweet um, chili sauce poured over and some crackers make sure you buy your crackers um, another thing I saw, I saw was um, pretzel sticks with the stringy cheese wrapped around it to look like witches brooms that's another good snack um, for the kids that they like for Halloween um, all your little lollies for decorating like M&Ms and things like that so whatever you're into just make sure you put one or two of those things in your um, shopping trolley as you go your drinks um, you know soft drinks or cordial or juices if you're having a party for Halloween and also puff pastry you can never go wrong with puff pastry in your freezer it just makes cute little cups like little pastry cases for um, mini quiches but you can also um, buy some little um, mini frankfurts the what we call cheerios and cut the puff puff pastry into strips and wrap it around so it looks like a mummy um, that's another good one so you can keep the um, little mini frankfurts in the freezer until you need them and the puff pastry always make sure you've got puff pastry in the freezer it's just a lifesaver for anything and like I said there's so many ideas on the um, internet so that's for um, Halloween if you have any questions or you need to know about how other things that you might like to make for Halloween or um, things to give out for trick-or-treaters you know just send me a message I'm happy to um, help Thanksgiving is um, the next one now it's not a, a thing here um, in the Australia but I thought with a few Americans in the group um, I might just mention it that I guess the turkey would probably be the most expensive um, item on the menu but with 10 weeks until um, Thanksgiving if you put five dollars away per week now you'll, you'll end up with fifty dollars I don't know how much turkeys are in America but I would assume that they're um, quite expensive um, so you can start doing that to um, save you the big expense um, come Thanksgiving time and all your things that you use like if you're making pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice or your pumpkin spice mixes and pecan nuts 
all the typical foods that you would normally buy for a Thanksgiving dinner. You know, start buying them now, putting away um, one per week. So if you have any more questions about Thanksgiving or you need any recipes, um, please just sing out. I don't have never held a Thanksgiving party, up, but I do know what sort of foods that they, they do eat um, for Thanksgiving. And now Christmas. So Christmas is basically the same as um, what I mentioned about Halloween. There's so many different things that you can do um, to decorate cupcakes in, in Christmas themes, Christmas cookies. You know, always think about um, freshly baked goods, like a, a bag of cookies for um, to give as a gift. So making sure that you've got all those um, basic pantry staples. You can make cookies out of the um, vanilla home brand vanilla cake mix if you like that I've got a recipe on my website uh, you can just dip them in chocolate you know you can drop little bits of melted chocolate onto a tray and put in uh, like a little bit of dried fruit and a nut and bundle them up as chocolate so always look to save some money with some homemade um, cookies and chocolates and um, homemade sweets everyone loves homemade sweets like fudge and um, coconut ice and peanut brittle and all those things so I've got a, a an ebook that I'll share in the group later if you're looking for recipes I've also got some really cool packaging ideas um, in my um, domesticity shop that are really cute for uh, giving all of these home baked snacks um, to your friends but the same with the turkey, like I mentioned um, for Thanksgiving, you've got four t basically 14 weeks now until Christmas. Can you believe it? And $5 a week put away now is going to give you about $70. So and if you want to do it that way to buy your Christmas ham or if you have a turkey or a roast piece of meat or fresh seafood, you know, put away that five or ten dollars now, depending on who's hosting Christmas. I don't think the host should always be left to um, supply everything. You know, I think if family's coming over, one bring dessert, one bring drinks, one you know, wh however your family works works it. But if you're hosting Christmas this year, you know, start putting away that um, five dollars every week for your um, your main meal item the prawns the you know if you're buying a whole rump for a barbecue or whatever uh things like for entertaining there's always so many christmas parties and people popping over and you know last minute ideas you know the cream cheese in the freezer for your dip just buy buy a couple of um tubs of cream cheese between now and christmas i think most of these things might have a, a use by date until Christmas time I'm not sure with the cream cheeses but if you just pop them in the freezer now I had got given some cottage cheese that was just past the use by date um, back in July and I just popped it in the freezer straight away and I used it in my lasagna that I made last week and we're all still alive there's nothing wrong with it so if you can put it in the freezer it'll keep until you need it and you just need to take it out that morning and it will defrost Oh, hi, Kelly. Kelly said, I have been putting away $40 a week for Christmas and birthdays all year. Excellent. See, Kelly's organized. So um, that's fantastic. And it's a huge, huge saving for um, anyone to be able to budget like that and have that excess money there ready to go at Christmas time. Well done. Well done, Kelly. Um, if you haven't been as organized as Kelly is, you know, this is a great way to just put that five or ten dollars away until Christmas time or start buying those things now all your snack items like chips and crackers and pretzels and cheesels or whatever corn chips whatever savory snacks you might like to have when you're entertaining um, dips for biscuit uh, biscuits for dips buy a packet now every week for 14 weeks and you'll just have a huge abundance put them away um, all your sweet making supplies like sugar and brown sugar and um, butter and nuts and chocolate and condensed milk you know condensed milk can be made into so many wonderful things as well 
Um, also, other baking supplies like bicarb of soda and baking powder, you know, make sure those are all stocked and up to date. If you make a Christmas cake and or a Christmas pudding, you know, start buying your um, dried fruit and nuts now. Oh, Kelly just said she does a, uh, she saves a money because she's normally a big Grinch and so angry about spending the money. I know, Kelly, yeah, it's, it's hard. Um, but it probably doesn't seem so bad when you've put it away um, each week. Good girl. Um, all of your jars of um, uh, pantry, pantry life, um, pickled onions, gherkins, relishes, olives, artichokes for your platters. You know, grazing platters are all the thing now. You can do it with fruit. You can do it with vegetables. You can do it with dip. You can do it with all your cold meats and just put it all out on a table you know put some paper down or some um, chopping boards and just put it all out and people will help themselves and when you've got a good supply um, of things in your freezer don't forget about your salamis and your cabanossi and cabana and um, other meat spreads you know um, things like liver patties and liverwurst can be rolled and um, rolled into parsley or um, crushed nuts or um, anything like that and put on a platter another one I like to do is um, just a normal dip made with cream cheese and then uh, shaped in a um, pine cone shape and then you get almonds you can do flaked almonds or whole almonds and made to look like a pine cone with just some crackers around if you've got cream cheese and a french onion soup mix in the cupboard that's a nice dip I always have almonds or nuts of some kind and just some sprigs of um, dill or um, rosemary to make the, the leaves of the pine cone is a really nifty little um, Christmas Christmas treat for entertaining. Salad dressings, if you're having a, a cold um, cold Christmas Day lunch, you know, you can always make your own salad dressing, so make sure you've got your oils and your good oils and your vinegars um, sometimes splashing out a little bit on a red wine vinegar or a nice um, balsamic vinegar just gives an extra depth of flavor to some of these salads things like your mayonnaises and your mustards and your cranberry sauces you know all those things start to kind of write down what your um, plans are for the next three months that you know of and make sure you have all these things in your pantry or your freezer um, we've missed Father's Day but you can always find um, a lot of the shops sometimes have um, half price boxes of chocolates on special so you know grab one of those every now and again um, if you see them add them to your trolley they're good for trick-or-treating as well um, to give out but they also just make a nice um, addition to an, a platter or a, a table when you're entertaining. Some people like to have a, a sweet treat. Pardon me, I'm very thirsty. Um, they're also good to give, um, if you've got like a really big box of chocolates, you know, to break it up and to wrap it up into smaller parcels to give out to children at school you know, if you're giving candy canes to kids at school or other other lollies um, buy them now <coughs> puff pastry again is another one for um, for Christmas entertaining I made a Christmas tree last Christmas I, I did a Facebook live here in the group for it where you just cut your uh, puff pastry out into or you first put your puff pastry down and you can spread it with pesto you can spread it with um, an olive tepanade or whatever you like put the other piece of puff pastry on top and then cut it into a Christmas tree shape and then you just do um, horizontal cuts into the Christmas tree part and then twist them brush it with a little beaten egg and um, pop it in the oven and you get this golden fluffy crispy goodness um, that can just be broken off a tear and share type thing and 
can dip it into chutney if you like. Don't forget about all your chutneys for roast porks and roast lambs, um, barbecues, apple sauce, all those things. Start, start writing down some menus of things that you might need and then adding all these things to your trolley um, as you go. You've got 14 weeks, nearly 14 weeks to get, um, to get going and it won't break the budget. The last thing is um, all your soft drinks and mixes and juices for Christmas breakfast or parties. You know, if you like rum and coke or bourbon and coke or lemonade for the kids or um, you want to make some cocktails, think about all the different mixes that you might need. Go grab some cocktail sticks and decorations and really enjoy the season and and make it make it lots of fun we like to make um mocktails here at my house we don't drink alcohol but the kids love it when we have um a fancy drink and a glass and it's usually just some kind of flavored cordial and lemonade and they think it's pretty fancy so um that's it now i was unwell yesterday i don't know what happened to me but i just i just slept all day and i just felt like i'd been hit by a bus but i've woken up feeling a lot better today and I did, I was in the process of typing out all of these ingredients and ideas for you. So once I get off this Facebook Live, I'll finish doing that and then I'll pop in the link to um, download it here in the group. So you've got a bit of a checklist that you can use. Like I said at the start, don't go to any trouble if that's not your thing. If you're busy working, you know, a quick, a quick dip, you know, buy the dips if you want to and put them in the freezer. Don't just, you know, buy the cream cheese. When you see these specials, you know, the two for um, offer or the home brand specials, grab a couple and put them in the in the freezer. They'll be perfect on the day that you need them. Just take them out that morning. Pop them on a plate. Um, cut up some veggie sticks with some crackers. And there's your plate to take with to a party. A bag of chips never killed anyone. Everyone likes extra bags of chips. Or corn chips at a party they always seem to run out at those things another thing that I do too is every three months or so I go to um, my local Golden Circle outlet shop so factory outlet grocery sh uh, stores are really good for buying those um, bulk things like drinks and chips and nuts just be little pay a bit of attention to the use by date because they could be um, near expiry so I'd be watching that but even some of your um, boxes of chocolates and different types of candy and sweets they're really good and to, to um, in my case the other thing is I've got my husband's birthday on the 23rd of December so that's just another extra expense and usually he just likes a baked dinner or a barbecue so he's easy to please but you know I always make sure that I try to just stick to my $150 a fortnight budget all the way through this this time of year and it's just by having those um, having the pantry well stocked with all these different things that you can just easily make something um, in a hurry or have a, a little bit of a stockpile of these special treats for those special times so I hope you enjoyed um, hope you enjoyed today's little Facebook live and like I said I'll get finished on that um, word document so that you can have it and print it out um, so you know what you might need for all of these things and I hope that you've enjoyed it today I hope you finish um, having a lovely Monday and a wonderful week wherever you are and I just want to say thank you for joining me so bye for now ask me any questions if you've got any questions and I'll catch you in the group later on tonight when we share our meals I've got chicken drumsticks out just to let you know okay see you later bye